please y'all please don't look at him i don't want y'all to think that's where how he wear his hat because i will call him all types of corn They don't want to always see your mouth every time you in the camera, girl. What t what happened to your head? Cause you looking like that dude off house party. Welcome to another vlog. Oh, guess what, y'all? Khalil got a haircut. I mean, an edge up for the first time. Y'all want to see it? Look at my boo boo. Oh, back it on up now. Khalil, shut up. Oh, you can't even really see it. I'll show y'all later. I don't feel like you don't turn light on. Y'all, today's Friday. And you would think I would be full of life. But I'm not. I'm tired. I've been I done took two naps today. It is that time of the month. So and it's um been rainy all day. So I'm gonna do a little self care today. I bought some stuff that I want to try out for my cramps because my cramps be severely bad, y'all. Like, my cramps are not normal cramps, you know? They always been terrible. Oh, we starting out early. Like, we starting out talking about menstrual cramps at the beginning of the vlog. But when I was a teenager, when my menstrual first came on, I used to be on birth control that pretty much helped my cramps not be as bad because it used to be so bad I'd be crying, that I'd be crying. But now I'm not on a horm hormonal birth control, so it does not help at all. So it just be. I just feel like my whole world falling apart for five whole days. So I bought some stuff. Say hi. But I don't think Khalil liked the camera because every time I put the camera on him, he be. Anyway, I bought some stuff for my, um, so I bought some bubble bath that, dang, what is that brand? I can't think of it. Is it Teals? Dr. Teals? I'm gonna show y'all. But I bought some bubble bath that's specifically for menstrual cramps. I also got like one of those heat and patches that you can, I didn't even know they make heat and patches just for menstrual cramps. So I got some of them and it's supposed to last up to eight hours. And I also have some healthy cycle tea. Some tea that I'm gonna drink tonight cause y'all I'm going through it right now. All week y'all, all week. I've been going to the gym, but when I tell y'all I go in there and I literally been working out for 20 minutes and leaving, I just have not like, I just haven't been there this week for real. I'm hurting, I'm hurting. So right now I'm in the She called a Khalil name, try to tell the shoes though y'all she got her brother's shoes on <laughs> Kelani girl you was a trip <laughs> girl what happened to your head what did you do at daycare it don't look bad like how I did it <laughs> so right now I'm going through the dilemma on if I want to buy the kids something to eat or if I want to cook something but cooking something is I can't even talk they don't want to see you Cooking something is free, of course, but takes time. And what I was gonna cook is some quesadillas, but then I gotta cut up the chicken, season it on. I don't feel like cook. Can, can, can you please? So I was thinking about just going to buy something, but I gotta buy for four kids. Unfortunately. Here's the verdict. I ordered Domino's. Y'all, I don't even like Domino's, okay? Well, let me tell y'all, Domino's got some good, their brownies. If y'all never had their brownies, baby, I'm gonna show y'all when I get them. But I ain't gonna say I don't like Domino's. It's not the worst pizza out there, but I just, it's not my go-to. But I decided to get Domino's because they had this special going on to where any size pizza was $7.99. So yeah, I got two large pizzas and a brownie, like a big brownie square or whatever. 
And uh, yeah, so that's what the kids gonna eat tonight. I'm gonna feed them. I'm gonna feed them and um, then I'm gonna take a bath. And then after I get out of the bath, I'm going to apply my little menstrual thing, my heat impact. Let me show y'all. This is how it looks. They do have some other ones by different brands that are like specifically for, um, you know, like they sell menstrual products, but they didn't have the best reviews. So this one has some good reviews. Therma Care, I got this from Rite Aid. It comes with three menstrual heat wraps. Oh, I didn't know it was a wrap. Oh no, it's not a wrap. Um, soothing heat to relieve period cramps up to eight hours. So I am going to sleep with it. It didn't say anything about you can't sleep with it. It just say don't wear more than eight hours. What? No. What's up with these kids just wanting to eat bread? Give me. Khalil keep running from me, y'all. Every time I try to get it from him. But they love them some Hawaiian rolls. And Kehlani mad because she won't, he won't give her none. Khalil, give your sister some. Give her some bread. Thank you. Huh, Kehlani? You done had like three. Here, and this is it after this. No more. Cause mommy got food for y'all. You know what? While I'm waiting on the pizza, I can be going to go clean the tub out. That's why I don't like taking baths. Cause I don't got time to be cleaning no tub out. I want it to be clean. When I get out the tub, I mean, before I even get in there, so I can just run my water. And another thing I like about Domino's, I'm literally switching topics like every five minutes. Another thing I like about Domino's is that um, they have it to where if the, you're ready, is not if your order is not ready when you pull up, they have two minutes to bring it out, or you get a free pizza. I'm gonna go see if this tub is clean, you guys. Matter of fact, I could go ahead and get them ready for bed. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. No, should I? Cause they gotta eat. Mm -mm, Cause they probably make a mess. I don't know. Oh, I'm here to pick up the pizza. Let's sing. I started recording as soon as I got here. Let me lock my doors for somebody run up on me. Cause if you give a get up. I'm oh, so tired, y'all. Oh, I'm so sleepy. This is ridiculous how sleepy I am. Like, I've never, like, ugh. remember my last time I was vlogging, I was on my menstrual, I was struggling then, but this time, ugh, I'm sleepy on a whole other level. God damn, they got my name all on the screen. I see it from, oh, they, oh, they won't play and they already love like, you can, you can. I'll take it this way. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. They brought it out less than a minute. Okay. They was not playing. They said you would not get a perfect song on. Per. I'm glad that they do that though. Even though, you know what I'm saying? A free pizza would have been nice. But I hate when you have curbside pickup and then they have you out there waiting forever. We secured a pizza. This is my first. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> Honey, you look good. You look blessed. Let's see what the cheese here for. Okay, it's the cheese. These are, y'all, when I tell y'all these are so freaking good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -mm. It's time to eat. What was that? Y'all, the twins is finally down. I'm about to. I already started cleaning out the tub. But one thing I hate about cleaning out the tub is the, around the jets, it's hard to clean. 
And let me show y'all what the heck happened. Y'all know I'm pissed. I was cleaning it and look at my nail. Gone. Gone. Good thing I got the tip. So guess what? It's either giving the tip right here. But um, I still don't want to deal with it. But the jets is so hard to clean. Ah! So this is the bubble bath right here. It's Dr. Till's foaming bath with pure Epsom salt. Menstrual relief with herbal plant complex and essential oils. Eases muscle cramps and body aches often related to PMS. Essential oils help calm the mind and uplift the body. See, I'm trying to film a YouTube short with it, but I be needing... Y'all just don't have to get BTS. I need a tripod just like that one. Like that portable, like that one. About to fill bath on, so I'm gonna use this. Hey Siri, do you take plastic off a bath bomb before using it? Let's talk about some damn boxing. Yes, the plastic on bath bombs does not dissolve, so you need to remove and discard the plastic before adding to the water. They need to put that in the instructions because obviously I wasn't the only one that wondered this. They're probably like, uh, common sense tells you. Well, baby, common sense ain't so common. Okay. Oh, it do break apart. Am I? Y'all, I feel like I'm not doing this right. Maybe because I dropped it. Maybe that's why. Let's try another one. Y'all, I don't think. <laughs> Look how it broke. Oh my gosh. I don't think. Do y'all see it? Oh, I don't think it's right. We just gonna sprinkle that in here. Cause I don't know. I don't know, Sha. Y'all, I'm in this bathtub, but baby, listen, I don't be in the bathtub. The point is the soap. But I be so hot. Like. <sighs> Okay, y'all, I'm out the shower now. I mean, bath. You know what I was just thinking about? I put on the, um, I put on the little heat thing, but I wonder how I know to activate. Maybe when you take the plastic off. Oh, man. Baby, listen, I understand why them kids, what babies love when you get them a bath. Because, baby, I'm tired. When I say I'm going to sleep like a baby. Before I go to sleep, I'm going to respond to y'all comments on my vlog I posted yesterday. And then y'all can kind of get like a real time of me. Um, well, not real time because when you're watching this, it's not real time. But yeah. <laughs> Brittany said, you look amazing in that dress. Thank you, girl. Let me type it out. Thank you, girl. I personally think you should give the twins their own channel. That way, if certain viewers only want twin contents, then they will basically have a one-stop shop on that channel. But regardless what you decide, I will support you along the way. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Chrissy and CC, having a separate channel for the twins is fine. Just like how some YouTubers have a vlog channel and a main channel, it makes sense. I would just have to subscribe to both channels. So does that mean you're keeping the podcast on this channel? Um. So I'm going to type it out. But let me verbally tell you why I'm deciding to also do the podcast channel. Like, you know how, like, if it's somebody podcast that you like and sometimes you like to watch the visual, right? And then you have some people that just like to listen. Um, I'm one of those people that just like to watch visually. So if I was to go to somebody's YouTube channel 
and I only like their podcast. Like, not saying I don't like their content, but I want to see the podcast. I don't want to have to search. I don't want to have to search for their podcast video. And also, in addition to that, you know how YouTube now has like YouTube shorts where people will post like a little clip of their podcast. I want to do that on the podcast channel daily. So like daily, I want to post like a one minute clip. Um, and then on Fridays, I will just post the, the full video. Like I post a full video on Friday and then all the way up until I post the next video, the next Friday, I want to post like one minute clips for people to go watch the full video because I will say YouTube shorts definitely it's like Instagram reels like it brings an audience to your page that is not subscribed so if they see that clip on the YouTube short and they be like oh I really want to listen to this I don't want them to come to my channel and they be like what is all this other stuff like I just want the video and yes I can easily post the link to the video but people don't this that this they don't always use this so it's like you will literally post something and it has happened so many times where i will post something and say in the description or in the comment like such and such like click this link for whatever or this is what i got or this is the name of it and they'll be like what's the name of the shampoo you use what's the, you know what i'm saying so people don't you know they i don't know i just feel like it would be more user friendly if I just have a specific channel for the podcast where I will upload a podcast every Friday and then pretty much like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I will be uploading like one minute clips to bring in other people. And then if they like those, you know, if they like what they're seeing, like a little sneak peek trailer, then they'll go watch the full video. So I don't want to do all of that on all things event because I'm already posting YouTube shorts of other content. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like it would be too much. So I know like having three separate channels sound like it's too much, but I just feel like it's the best thing. So I'm going to respond to your comment like a little, it's going to be a little short little thing, but I'm going to let you know that I responded a long response in my video so I can explain why. All right, my girl Anika Simone said, girl, you know them kids ain't trying to get up for school unless the house burneth facts <laughs> i'm definitely proud of you girl for crushing your goals mm. that dress looks so good on you girl the picture you sent me didn't know justice kehlani said it's, t it's her time to shine honey the wink got me <laughs> she was in that camera like <laughs> i'm weak at you blurring your feet because listen baby oh y'all speaking of my feet i went and bought some um stuff from target some uh y'all this sounds so embarrassing i went and bought some anti-fungal <laughs> medicine for my toenail y'all because i told y'all my toenail is this color it's bruised but it's been like that for a while so i think it's like an infection or something so i bought this and hopefully it helped but that shit was like twenty dollars it better help because if it don't it's going back everything look nice at the party i think another channel for the twin, twin content would be great on many levels i love you i love you too girl uh, Lani is taking all of the screen time and then my girl sabina when you were trying on the heels i was like lord friend please take a change of shoes girl and it brought my cross because baby listen i know me I'm so glad you did. You look so good in that dress. Royal blue looks good on you. And can I just say that moment when baby girl grabbed your face was the sweetest thing ever. So precious. Love your nails. I may need to go to her. Girl, you know you're not going to her because you said she's too far. I definitely think separate your content will help keep your or keep your keep you organized and it will also be beneficial to your subscribers. Do it. I am. Now you was tore up at the party. Yvette Zero Liquor One. Love you, girl. <laughs> Girl, let me let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all how tore up I was. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> this is an intimate conversation. So don't be over here judging me. Y'all, I left this party. As soon as I got in the passenger seat, 
Yeah, I told him pull over, pull over. I got the up. I got the up. Like, and I don't know what it is. Every time if I've been drinking, I don't even have to be drinking a lot. But it's just something about being in the passenger seat in the motion. Mm mm. And honestly, you guys, I think that being in a taller car honestly gives me motion sickness. And I'll say that because like my car is a small car, right? So, and when I'm driving or when I'm in a passenger seat, it's not that bad. And also my boyfriend's car, he doesn't have a small car because it is a full size um, car, but it's lower to the ground. So before when I was riding in somebody's truck, and I was like in the back, I kept getting motion sickness. So I think that in, in that truck set up high because they had like these big tires. So I think it's just something I get motion sickness in a car. So if you add drinking to that, y'all, I, and it was pouring down that night. I had my head out of the window because I refused to throw up in his car because I was like, I am not cleaning up throw. I don't. Y'all, I do not clean up throw up at all. Like, even when it comes to my kids, other people do it. Like, I remember when I first had the twins and my son was throwing up. I, I woke my mama up in the middle of the night and said, Mom, I can't do it. I just have a weak stomach. I cannot. It's something about throw. I just can't. I can't do it. Like, even when the twins was throwing up before, luckily, um, somebody was here that was doing it for me because I can't do it. Or they daddy will do it. But I personally, I cannot clean up nobody else throw up. So I had my head stuck out the window while he was driving. It was pouring down, raining. Y'all, my hair. My hair had stuff all in it. I had to come home and wash my hair. Then I had to rewash it the next the next day because it still smelled like. Y'all, it was just a mess. It was just a mess. It was a mess. Anyway. I'm tired. I don't want to feel like going downstairs and getting my food. All right, y'all. I'm about to go downstairs, though, and get my food. I can't believe Meech and Summer Walker is dating. And you know what, y'all? I really don't like how somebody said that he stink because now I'm going to just... Oh. What was I saying? Oh. Do y'all even know who Lil Meech and Summer Walker is? I know my people ain't old up here. Oh, YouTube changed some stuff. Anyway, y'all. Do y'all follow me on TikTok? It's underscore all things Yvette. And my Instagram is all things Yvette. So y'all can see more of me. Also, y'all, we just look, we just talking. We have a girl chat right now. Also. Did y'all see, I don't know if y'all watched Love is Blind, but it's a couple up there that came from season, what season they was on? One, maybe? Maybe this was the first one? I, no, maybe not. Ayana and Jared. Maybe it was season two. Yeah, season two. And now they're, they have gotten a divorce. And Ayana, she's been pretty much like doing different interviews saying what happened. And she was speaking on how her husband, she found out her husband was cheating on her via email because he invited a girl and the girl's friend over to their apartment that they shared together. And the girl went into the bathroom and saw girl items. And she, he was like, the girl was like, do you have a girlfriend? He was like, no, I have a wife. And so they end up leaving, but she ended up sending Ayana a email letting her know like, hey, your husband had us in the apartment, gave the apartment number, was describing things that only somebody that was in the house would know, and in the bed and everything. And they said that they never actually did intercourse, but they just was like foreplay. But in their bed, y'all, do y'all, let me tell y'all. <laughs> That's a whole nother, it's all disrespect at the end of the day. But in our bed, you have somebody in our bed, in our bed, in our bed. Mm -mm. Anyway, y'all, I don't feel it. Oh, I feel it heating up. I feel it, y'all. Let me see these twins. Lay down. 
Lay down. I got to tell them to lay down as soon as I get in the room, room even if they are laying down, because don't get up. I'm just checking on y'all. But I'm about to fix me some food, you guys. Make me another little drink. And then I'm going to sleep. I'll see y'all. Oh, before I go to sleep, let me show y'all the stuff that I got. Carousel. That's what it's called for my feet. Carousel. I'm about to put some up there right now. You're supposed to do it twice a day. I ain't do it today. Mm-hmm. Baby, listen. My feet ain't gonna be ugly this summer. Happy Saturday, y'all. Good morning. Um, well, actually, it just hit 12 o'clock, so it's afternoon. I've been up since like seven something though. But I woke up this morning and I started folding clothes because I had like four loads of laundry that needed to be folded. I just laid the twins down for a nap though. So I was like, let me pick up my camera because they will not be a distraction. So today we are going to my friends. My friend is having a birthday dinner for her hubby. So we're going to go do that. That's at seven o'clock. Um, we're going to be leaving here around six we have to drop the twins off to my mom's house by 6 30 that way we can make it to the restaurant by seven the attire is black and white more than likely well she said black and white or any variation of those colors so more than likely i'm gonna just do all black i don't have anything all black though so i'm gonna have to go find something well i do have something all black but it's long sleeve so i don't know y'all and i might end up wearing the same heels that i wore last weekend since they're black because y'all know i can't show my feet i don't say no plenty of time so yeah but until then y'all for real for real i'm just chilling i did just put up a poll on youtube on the youtube community page and i was asking would y'all be interested in me going live sometimes like would y'all pull up because i don't want to be there talking to myself but i'll be wanting to interact with y'all in real time so would y'all be interested in that? Because I sometimes I be wanting to do my makeup like on live or whatever. But I want somebody to actually interact with me. Um, oh, also, y'all, the thing that I had on me, like the heat thing for my menstrual cramps, it definitely helped. And I'm going to tell y'all how I know because all, all, well, not all night, but when I woke up this morning and when I was laying in bed last night, I was like, this is not even getting like hot, hot. I thought it was going to be like hot, hot. But I didn't feel no cramps though. So I was like, well, maybe it is working. But then I was like, maybe it's just I'm not cramping right now. Because I'm like, it's not hot, hot. Like, what is it doing? But then when I took it off this morning, because it said you only can keep it up there for eight hours. When I took it off this morning, my cramps came back immediately. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm kind of going through with that. But I don't know, y'all, because it said you only can use it for eight hours in a 24-hour period. So that means I wouldn't be able to use it again until tonight. Because I put it on last night. I don't know, child, but it's going to get put on either way. I don't understand. Why can't you only use it in an eight-hour period? Like, it's heat. But it's giving I'm about to put another one on because, baby, listen. Y'all, Lululemon just sent me an email. And they be having some cute stuff. I be seeing some cute stuff. I can't wait until I can get into the position to where I can, like, just purchase like better um well i don't want to use the word luxury because it's not luxury but you know how like okay like lululemon they sell probably the same stuff that you could get from like old navy or something like that but i do feel like as i'm getting older i realize that quality does matter like it's certain things that like instead of me just buying stuff just for how it look i want to start buying stuff because of the quality of it like i want staples in my clothing collection you know so i just can't wait until i can get into the position financially that i could just go and just buy like quality staples in my wardrobe because i want to just redo my whole wardrobe y'all right now i don't even have a wardrobe that's why every time i'm going somewhere i have to buy something because i don't have a wardrobe or once i buy i just be wearing the same thing over and over again and right now i really been struggling because y'all know my feet so <laughs> i can't really wear too much because it's like okay baby it's giving sneakers this is my closet is maybe i can do this with y'all organize my closet because look at it it looks a mess but <laughs> this is 
what I have right now. And most of this stuff is not even like this are jackets or cardigans. I really don't even have no shirts. Like, and then all these jeans, I can probably fit. <laughs> Y'all, if I'm keeping it a buck, I probably can only fit two two pairs of these jeans in here, which is these ones and these back here. That's it. And then everything up here is just stuff that I just wouldn't necessarily like wear out you know just this is just like throw on something and go or pajamas or workout stuff over there it's coming soon soon come soon come soon come soon come but i can't wait to freak these this weekend i mean not this weekend this summer y'all i'm a colorful girl okay i am not y'all will not see me try to be unless it's just something that i naturally feel like i'm being gravitated to but you know how like a lot of people just their aesthetic is like creams and neutrals it's just not me I'm colorful. I love color. So I can't wait until I can wear something cute with these this summer. These are some shorts. They're actually men's shorts, but I like them. And these, y'all. Ooh, I just like these. I think I've had them for so long and I can't fit them. But I can't wait until I can actually wear them. And some jeans in here I don't have for years. Like these jeans, never was able to wear so yeah anyway i did tell y'all before i don't think i ever matter of fact where is it i think this is it right here y'all remember i had told y'all i told y'all that i was gonna show y'all what i got from target that time and i don't think i ever showed y'all oh yep this is it let me show y'all right quick hold on y'all i am so glad i pulled them out because i definitely forgot to take these back and get them to take this dang on sensor off because I went through self checkout and so you know like they don't be you know it's nobody there and I didn't see the dead on sensor and it didn't go off so I need to take that back and get that taken off but I got these pants I just be this was just some workout pants honestly just some cute workout pants and I got this top to go with it but honestly now that I'm looking at it I mean it don't look completely off but when I tried it on I don't know if I would wear it this top because it's it's just like you can see too much of my nipple <laughs> and um what is this y'all this is how you know i just be getting stuff hold on because i gotta prop this camera up okay so when i was in there they had this little section of jockey stuff and i just want to start wearing like more i like the skims vibe type thing but skims are not uh <laughs> I'm not going to say they're expensive, but they're not something that you could really buy a lot of if you ain't got it like that. So I got this, um, this like bralette from there from, this is all from Target. So I got this bralette and then I got this crop top right here. And then these biker shorts, real cute. I, I'll be trying to get stuff for when, <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> but I just wanted something cute to wear around the house so i won't be looking like a bum because i don't really be having like stuff to wear around the house and then i didn't even know that this went viral on tiktok so hold on a romper or a jumpsuit what is it a bodysuit it's a bodysuit it's a workout bodysuit super cute y'all i took out the um the breast padding because I, I always take it out but this is so cute summertime type thing yeah so cute so cute so cute and it has a little cross cross in the back and oh hold on wait hold on wait let me see because i did buy one and i was looking for it cocoa blush i don't remember this one i gotta let that simmer but I had saw, so I had seen somebody also on TikTok to where they, can y'all see it? I had saw also somebody on TikTok was talking about how Target have these pheromone um, sprays. I really bought it just to wear to the gym <laughs> because I don't know, like I, I'm not trying to go to the gym to like smell good and look good and stuff, but I wanted, I want to start taking pride in how I look going to the gym or wherever y'all because um i am the type of person that well i wouldn't go to the store with a bonnet on not this but i would definitely go with a scarf on y'all have seen me going to the store with a scarf on 
And I just, as I'm getting older, I'm about to be 30. <laughs> as I'm getting older, y'all, I just want to start like taking more pride in how I look when I go somewhere. So that even goes for the gym because I really don't go too many places. So it's just like when I go somewhere, I want to look nice. And also when I go to the gym, like... I just want, you know how like some people have those like uh, Bath and Body Works sprays or maybe some Victoria's Secret spray or something. Something that's not like an expensive spray, just something real quick. It could be like a toilet or something just so you can spray something on you so you can, you know, smell good. That's what I'm trying to start conditioning myself to start doing. And I'm not doing it. Like I know that this is something that I want to do because I don't feel like I'm being, I'm not forcing myself to do it. Like this is something I want to do. It's just sometimes it can be difficult because I feel like my life is so much on, uh, like just so fast moving. So like in the morning time, for example, when I wake up in the morning, by the time I get the kids ready, I don't give a damn about myself. <laughs> so I am trying to definitely create a routine even in the morning time where I wake up, I have my clothes ready, I know what I'm wearing, yada, yada, yada. Now, it's kind of hard with my hair because I don't have like that type of hair to where you could just throw in a ponytail and it look good. Like, I got to do something with my edges. Like, baby, my edges is giving <sighs> Kunta Kente. I don't know if I like this spray, though. Now that I... I mean... This would definitely just be a gym spray. Spray that I'm gonna start using for the gym because I've had it for so long and it's a full bottle. And this bottle was a hundred dollars, y'all. And I don't even have, I have not even um, used barely any of it. It's still to the top. Was this um, the Moschino? Is that how you pronounce it? Moschino? This is the, I don't even know what this is called. Oh, it's say 36 months. How long is that? Oh, three years. I probably had it longer than three years, though. But the Moschino, it smells good, but it's very much a, let me see. Look at my, <laughs> why did I type in Moschino and then Valentino is coming up? Did I spell it wrong? No, do they not sell it no more? They must not sell it up here no more. I want Sephora and they did not come up, honey. They must do not have a, they, they, they must not be with Sephora anymore because I definitely bought it from Sephora. Ulta, Ulta have it. $96. Ta! Is this the one I got? 3.4? Child, I can't even see. Anyway, that doesn't even matter. My, well, let me see. What's, what's the ingredients? I mean, the details of it. This is a floral, floral woody musk. The top note is mandarin orange, granny smith apple. The middle is magnolia, jasmine petals, peony, white currant, and base is musk, sandalwood, ambery woods. So, yeah, this is given very much fresh. Fresh, 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 fresh. fresh. Yeah, so I might start wearing this to the gym too. Let me matter of fact, I'm about to show y'all all of my perfumes I got. So I got this one, the Moschino, the Aqua de Joya, which y'all know that's my crave. Valentino, uh, Born in Roma. This one is a little old and I think it's definitely time to go, but this is the Beyond Romance. I want to say it's by Ralph Lauren. I want to say this smells good though. The YSL Libre. I have not worn this in so long. Y'all, this be, used to be one of my faves. It used to be one of my favorites. And it still is to do smell good. Y'all know what else is one of my faves that I ran out of? The Gucci Floral Gardenia. That one is a good smell of perfume. Okay. Replica Jazz Club. Perfect for fall this is only 24 months y'all i've had that longer it's probably coming up only 24 months but baby you're gonna last <laughs> to this year the mark jacobs perfect smells so good and i love the top i really got this because well no 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 no. i got this because i love the smell of it and then the smell 
Um, and then the top sold me over. So this is the Terra de Joya. This is more so of like a fall scent. This is more so like springy summertime. So yeah, I got this one though for fall. I like this one too, clearly. Y'all know I got the Kaali Eden Juicy Apple. And uh, oh, I told y'all my... I told y'all about my neighbor. She gave me the Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy in a sample. This smells really good. I'm going to have to get the big size of that. I also have the Replica Bubble Bath in travel size. Uh, I ain't crazy over it. Not crazy over it, but I do spray that sometimes when I'm just going to um, the gym. Is that all I have? And then I have... I had got the um, Kaali, the mini sets. These are old, y'all. These really have to, like, these are old. So this is the vanilla, citrus, the el elixir, and musk. So these, this was a set that pretty much, like, it just, all of them, you can layer on top of each other. However, you, whatever scent you're going for, you can layer it to that scent. So that's what I bought that for. But you know, like I see people like Jackie Ina that have like so many different perfumes. And it honestly, y'all, it's not possible to finish all those bottles. And you know, for her, I mean, she has the money to do that. So I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. And she probably just like how it look, and it might just be a collection for her. But y'all see my little collection. Y'all see my little collection, and I can't even wear all these. So I'm trying to get in the habit now more of spraying it daily. But I don't know, y'all. It's just something about me like, and I'm going to say this and then leave y'all alone because I've been talking y'all head off now say 14 minutes. <laughs> but it's just something about me to where when it come down to perfume, um, makeup, um, contacts, individual lashes, you know how like people go get their lashes done or even strips. Just anything like that, I don't like it to stay on me. I don't like, like, the perfume. You know how, like, say, for instance, if you get home after a, being out or whatever, and then you might be too tired to take a shower, don't sit here and act like, oh, well, some people might do it. I know it's some people out here that you be too tired to take a shower when you get in the bed. But if I'm wearing perfume, I'm getting in that shower because I just do not like that stuff on me. And then when I got my lashes done, I have probably gotten my lashes done three times in my lifetime every single time I have gotten it done I always pluck them out within the first week because I just can't deal with it I just it's just something about fake stuff being on me I just can't do it so like I used to wear wigs and you know how some people might have their wigs glued down for days I cannot do it I can't do it so that's why anything that can come off of me I don't do well with that's why I have to keep my nails done because even when it came down to my natural nails all my life I've had a problem with biting my nails like they was nubs y'all they looked bad they looked so bad to the point where I had dents in my nails because I will bite them so much my mom used to buy the nail polish that if you put it in your mouth it tastes nasty I used to eat through that so now I have to keep my nails done because I can't bite through acrylic so um yeah, so that's why that's why I make sure my nails stay done. Like y'all probably would never really see me with no nails on. Also, when it come down to my hair, now I'm getting back more into sew-ins because I can't take the sew-in out. You know what I'm saying? But when I get in the house, that's why y'all see me in the house a lot with my bonnet on because I don't like that stuff like laying on me. I don't know. I'm just weird. And that's why I wear my glasses a lot, even though I have contacts. Anytime I go get my contacts, they be like, you know, how long of a supply do you need? Do you just want six months? And I be like, yeah, because six months worth of contacts literally will last me years because I wear my glasses majority of the time. Like, I just don't like that stuff on me. So I don't know. I'm just weird like that, I guess. Y'all, I'm making a. You guys look. I should have shown. I'm making a YouTube short for it.
Oh, Lord. Why do we have to... Beauty is not cause, it is per. Let's give them a plate. Okay. Y'all, I wanted to show y'all what I was wearing. But I am really running late. Well, not running late, but like... It's 6.08. We were supposed to leave at 6 o'clock to drop them off by 6.30 and get to the place by 7. So, yeah. But I'm wearing the same heels y'all saw me wear the other day. And I end up putting on this black jean dress that I have. I'll try to get a full picture of y'all. Right. I mean, a full video. But, yeah. We on our way. We about to drop the twins off first, though. Would y'all believe... We the first people here. We ain't never the first people nowhere. <laughs> Always late. Always. And I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten since this morning. And that was like 10 o'clock. It's 7.30. I'm starving. I'm tear some food up today. Time for me to take this so in out now. I'm gonna give it like one more week, one a week and a half, maybe. Y'all, please don't look at him. I don't want y'all to think that's where how he wear his hat. Cause I will call him all types of corny. Let's pick this head up. <laughs> I will talk, call him all types of corny. I use this rag, y'all. That's already it's not dirty because it's clean, but it's already stained. So I'm probably just use this to get this off my face. Probably got a little bit around my edges, y'all see. All right, so I'm just using some of the Hero pimple patches. I really like these, y'all, because they stay on your face. And I am a wild sleeper. This thing did not move oh i probably need one right there too but i really don't want to use two dang i probably should just go ahead i accidentally bent that one a little bit but it's all right as long as it covered a bump I'm just using my magic cream that's almost gone. I'm gonna make sure I get my eyelids because y'all my eyelids been really dry. Now, 
I'm going to use the Laneige sleeping mask because I haven't used this pretty much about a week. And uh, it said you could use like uh, twice a week. So, put on my eyelids. I need to brush my teeth. I should have did that before I put my... I need a slipping mask. It's giving nice and moisturized. I'm mad that I accidentally... <laughs> Don't look at my nail. My face been a little texture. I don't know if y'all could tell. Not the moles, cause I got moles, but it's been a little texture. I don't like that, but. All right, you guys. See you in the morning. Here we go. Oh boy. Let me go ahead, the twins is up y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and take this off my face. Yeah, really do be y'all see all them little white spots can y'all see it I don't know if y'all can see it but those white spots be stuff that it be getting under your skin and I be like dang I had all that going on but I'm not surprised because See all that white stuff. I'm not surprised because I did have um like when I would feel my face, I could feel the bumps underneath my skin. So yeah. This bump's still here, but it's going down. Oh, my face feel nice and moisturized. It might not look it, but it feels soft. The Kaika sleeping mask, I like it. Moisturize, soothe, soften, hydrate. Are these English words? <laughs> Cause I'm like, oh the way y'all see it. Moisturize, soothe, soften, and hydrate. And then it say, I case? No, I pace. I listen, baby, I don't know. Let me go get these kids. Much later, I had to um take a nap, y'all, because I was tired. Me and the twins was in there knocked. But I'm about to go to the hair store and get some stuff for baby girl. You know, today is Sunday and I have to do her hair. I hate coming to this hair store. It is so freaking ghetto. But they got the good stuff. But um, I'm about to go in here and get a comb. Oh, it's a police officer up here. But um, I'm about to go in here and get a comb, like the parting comb that I be showing y'all that I use. Because they're going to tooth part keep breaking. So I need to get that. And I also want to do, y'all know back, well, I was about to say back in the day, but I'm not that old. But you know how like when you used to do the little sock ponytail and you used to, you know, the little bun and you used to make it out of a sock. But you know, they got the little things now where you could just put on their head and do it that way. So I'm going to see if they got some small ones because you know my baby only got two inches of hair. So yeah, that's what we're about to do, y'all. I probably need to get this one. Oh, okay. oh no, I don't know what this one got going on. What is this? Oh, it's a heat resistant. Um, I need something that's not gonna break, but I feel like I'm gonna just get this one. They got the small things right here, but I don't think this might be too big. I don't even think she had that much hair. <laughs> I'm about to do her hair. Y'all seen me do her hair plenty of times. Hold on. You want to be seen so bad. I sure do. Y'all done seen her. My son be wanting to be seen in the camera so bad, which I don't mind him being seen in the camera. But he want to get in the camera and just... and dance. Stop about to see that. <laughs> so what you want to do in the camera? Exactly. Well, you want to know why? Why? Come my friend watching videos. 
Oh. I want her to see me. Stop on YouTube. You want her to see you? Mm -hmm. Well, say hey to your friend. Hey. <laughs> but y'all don't see me do her hair plenty of times. So I'm just show y'all at the end. And I might show y'all the YouTube short. So I'm gonna make it into a YouTube short. So yeah. <laughs> happy sunday y'all so we are back with another sunday hair reset for baby girl so i'm just using the aunt jackie heads up shampoo to shampoo her hair and i'm also using the not having it to help detangle her hair i did oil it but i didn't show that part so i found this style off of pinterest y'all and it was semi of a fail that's why i need y'all help but i'll let y'all know at the end so i went ahead and parted her hair from ear to ear in the front and in the back and then in the middle section of her hair i parted it down the middle to make two ponytails so that's what i'm doing right now and i will just use the baby don't be ball and also some edge control to help make her ponytails as slick as possible which was kind of difficult because her hair is curly but i just twisted the ends of the front ponytail and the back ponytail and added them to the two middle ponytails and this is where i struggle i tried to do the donuts y'all but her hair is too curly so it won't stay down so help me y'all like what can i do because the style was cute yeah, honey. happy wednesday it's been a couple of days since i last picked up the camera which was sunday don't look at my messy house <laughs> so i just had to make an appointment with my OBGYN to have like um a checkup because right now i currently have an iud and i told y'all that my cramps be so bad like it's just bad but i've always had bad cramps but now like my menstrual is off and my cramps is still bad so i feel like something is wrong so i had anyway i say all that to say i had to make an appointment with my OBGYN, and they told me she retired <laughs> i'm so mad because that has been she, first of all y'all know i have four kids well if you don't know i have four kids and for so for my oldest two boys it was a man that delivered them they were both the man was both of the men were great um she was my first woman doctor as far as the OBGYN. i guess because i've had bad experiences with other women doctors um so yeah so i just was like i'm just gonna go to a man but i love her y'all i love her to death like she was the best doctor ever like like she she was the person and i have talked about this before when i like mentioned how i found out like story time me finding out i had twins i was supposed to be assigned to a completely different doctor but my doctor was not there when i went to go get like my checkup well matter of fact i can't even say it was my doctor because that was like you know how like if you have been pregnant before you know they make you an appointment and then you got to check like um you you know go to the doctor to, to verify if you're pregnant or not so i went to the doctor they verified that i was pregnant at six weeks however i had to come back at eight weeks and get the ultrasound so when i came back to get the ultrasound my doctor that i went to the first time at my six week appointment she was not there so i went to my doctor um so i went to a new doctor and that's when i found out i was having twins so she ever since then i loved her because when i was crying 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 like everybody in the doctor office was looking at me like i was crazy and i'm like y'all don't understand like i didn't even want one <laughs> like i didn't even the 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 being pregnant with one was like oh my gosh i'm pregnant so to find out i'm having two y'all i was in that <laughs> boohoo crying when i was there everybody like kept looking at me and doctors was walking past asking was i okay saying oh my goodness that's such a blessing blah, 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 blah. so when i got into her office and she was like the first thing she said was talk to me what are you feeling like what's what's the emotions that's going on right now i told her how i felt and then the thing she asked she was like okay so do you want are we going to keep the baby or or do you like do you are we going to keep the babies or are you like uh, -uh i can't do this so i just expressed to her it was just like she wasn't it, it didn't feel judgmental it didn't feel like i expressed to her everything that i was feeling and she just was so like supportive and obviously i decided to keep the babies but all doctors aren't like that like sometimes you'll have people that are judgmental because they are against like you know the ab's and stuff like that if you know what i mean when i say ab's i'm not trying to say the word but 
they are against that and i just feel like personally the way that i feel is it's your body you do you do what you want you know what's best for you and ain't nobody gonna take care of them kids but you and sometimes the daddy what what the saying is mama's baby daddy's maybe like uh, -uh. so it's just i don't know she just made me feel so safe so the whole pregnancy y'all she was just so amazing like she was she was like Anything that was going wrong, if I felt like something was wrong, she had me in that doctor's office that day to get an ultrasound or something, you know. And luckily, I never had no problems. And even when I was giving birth, she, you know how the doctors come in and out um, to check on you. Like your OBGYN is in and out checking on you. And before I was getting my epidural, she told a lady that was doing the epidural, she is she was she was this is how she was talking about me she is a rock star the whole time she's been pregnant she never complained never had any problems like just just so strong so i'm gonna miss her so much but i'm glad that i was able to see her after because before i did go to like get a checkup with my iud and she was there and um she didn't say nothing to me at first because i guess she felt like that i forgot her but she i seen her looking at me and then when i went up to her she was like i wanted to say something to you but i didn't know if it was you know okay if like if you remember me i'm like i would never forget you so to call and she's gone ah. but anyway she delivered the twins and then when i took the twins to the doctor what about a month ago y'all see me take them for their two-year-old checkup Y'all, their doctor that they've been seeing since birth retired. I'm like, everybody is retiring but me. Listen, I said all that to say. She retired. And I'm sad. But I called and I made an appointment with somebody else so we can get this checked out, y'all. Because something is not right. Something is not right. Okay? I, I, if I got to get this out of me, that's what I'm going to do. And we just going to have to. Because, <laughs> okay? baby, ain't no more kids coming out of here. But, all right, y'all. I have a meeting. So. <sighs> Thank you for watching this video. I love you guys. So, so much. And I will see you in my next video.